Hey, right, shout out to Jay. Welcome to MMO Gang. Now, if you guys haven't added me on Snapchat already, make sure you go do that because a lot goes down there. So I told him, you know what, make five grand and then I add you back on Snapchat. He did that and he's even made even more. So he's now showed me that he's made 7.2 in his portfolio. So this is pretty good. And then guys, he's doing this with a junior ISO. He's only 15 years old. So anyone else can do this. If you want to be shout out on the next episode, just add me on Snapchat and send me profits and proof of you making money on land. Welcome to MMO Gang, Jay. What's going on, man? King Rich is here, back again, and I've brought a guest with me. It's Pokey Banks, baby. Trust me, bro. This guy is big on social media, big on YouTube, TikTok, everything. Plug your channels on that, man. Pokey Banks and everything. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Awesome, bro. He's doing numbers. And listen, yeah, he's doing well, especially for his age. Like, he um, talks about finances, streams of income. You know, I talk about power all the time. And the first pillar of power is financial. You know, you need your money right. And I want to get Poku's um, opinion on that. Money is very, very important. It's a shame, but money runs everything. It, it determines, you know, who's your next president. It determines who's the next prime minister. It determines, you know, what things you buy at the shop because of money. Money influences everything. It's a shame but it runs everything and you're gonna have to live with that so you might as well play on the right side of it and get your money up so you can start making some good decisions in your life money fixes a lot of problems in life especially in home life what do you think about that it just makes everything easier how i was growing up my dad was a man of the house he made sure any problems that were there he made sure he got solved why because there's good money he had good money coming in his finances were in check now for someone that doesn't have their finances in check and they're scrabbling just to, you know pay for the bills it can make growing up a lot harder. It can make things, just life in general harder. I mean, it just ruin your mental state. Now, what you want to do is make sure your mental state is in a good spot. So having money to be able to sort out all of these little problems, you know, this will make things a lot easier in life. So obviously it's important to get multiple streams of income. So if one income goes down, you've got others that can support you financially, yeah? I'm gonna ask Poku um, about some examples of multiple streams of income that anyone can get into. So essentially the first one is reselling sneakers. So essentially when you know some shoes that are sold, they're high in demand and low in supply. So essentially when they're sold on the website, they sell out very, very quickly. I'm pretty sure you guys know examples of like Yeezys and some Air Jordans. Now what you could do is essentially get these shoes and then sell it to people that didn't get them. Therefore you're making a profit because you know, they didn't get it on time. Therefore you're making your premium. Now another one you can look into is essentially you know, buying and fixing phones. So essentially you buy broken phones you know, with screens that are broken. You fix it and replace the screen, sell it for market value and you make your profit. And the final one you look into is either investing in stocks and shares or trading essentially. Now with these, these are something that can take you far, far. You know? Now we're not saying money is everything, but it's a very important tool, it gets things done. And the fact of the matter is, you know, most people are at the mercy of their job. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? The vast majority of people, the only stream of income they got is their job, which stands, stands for just over broke. Mm -hmm. You know, we just come out of a lockdown, which we still kind of in, right? And a lot of companies just, they either liquidated or a lot of people just lost their jobs and now they're scrambling. You know, so it's very important that you don't leave yourself at the mercy of your employer, at the mercy of your company, at the mercy of people around you maybe supporting you. You're basically, you know, dependent on your boss to make sure you live and eat for the rest of your month. Yeah. Now, like you said, you know, the company can liquidate, it could, you know, go bust. So, you know, you depend on your job is not the best and wise investment for you to do. It's not a good risk for you to take. What you should do is, you know, get another source of income on the side that's giving you a little bit of income. This can help supplement your income and allow you to do what you want to do. I can go on a date if I want to. I can go on a holiday if I want to. I can go to a restaurant if I want to. All of these things, if I have an extra source of income, I can now have the power and the control to do so. One of the main reasons why you need money is because you tend to get more respect. You know what I mean? The broke man or broke woman doesn't tend to get much respect in it like no one really respects the homeless guy on the side of the road begging for pennies most people don't even give him eye contact they just walk past you know what i mean whereas when a guy or a girl who pulls up in the ferrari you know people will be looking at them and you know giving them respect it might not be right it might be wrong but that's just the way it is i know i would rather be the person getting respect and having fun using my money to to my best interest it's weird but it just brings respect it, br it brings eyes and you, it brings you know power to you it brings status to you wealthiest people in the world so jeff bezos bill gates you know the owners of google and whatnot these guys have immense power over the government you know they can influence legislation essentially why because they have money they have wealth to make moves they can you know whatever they do it changes things in the world so with money you just get respect from people that you know may have looked at you differently otherwise 
It's a shame, but that's how life is. Do you feel like people treat you better now that you've got more money than before? Of course. You know, back when I was, you know, broke, you know, no one cared about what I had to say. But now is, what did he say? Like, oh, what did he say? I didn't hear that. Oh, that's interesting. You know. What people, about with girls? Girls has been great. You know, the success rate in the DMs <laughs> has been, it's been, it's been, it's, been, it's, it's increased definitely. But um, yeah, with money, you know, it gives you the chance for people to actually look at you and think, okay. Whereas, you know, no one look at a homeless man's way. You know, a girl would never look at a homeless man, like, in that sort of way. But when you have money, you know, it changes. You know, it changes overnight, literally. All right, so another aspect of the finances and money, yeah, that you need to, that everyone needs to bear in mind is, like, not to spend frivolously on, like, trash, on things that are useless, things that don't bring you back no return. Like, what's your um, experience with that? Because I remember you used to buy a lot of drip. He used to buy a lot of drip, but now he, you know, his mind's got right. You know what I mean? He's more like, you know, careful and makes good investments. So, what is your experience with that, like, like spending wise? Yeah, essentially, you know, worst for Robert Kiyosaki, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. So, you can make as much money as you want, but if you spend the most of it on, you know, things not to, on things where you can't show for a few months down the line, then, you know, you're just wasting money essentially. Now, when it comes to getting money, Especially when it comes with um, buying as a designer, drip and whatnot. You know, I was buying it just to you know impress the people that I didn't really like. You know, and trying to show off, uh, show that I'm rich. But in reality, the rich people don't even show off like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't show they show off with their assets. You know, houses. You know, big cars, nice watches. They don't show off of what they dress because you know it doesn't really matter too much. More time, they don't even show you what they got. Like more time, you wouldn't even know someone's a millionaire. Yeah. You'll just be walking past. You ain't gonna have all the little insignia or, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, we should maybe take lessons from people that are actually really wealthy and not from people that are just kind of rich. Do you yeah, know exactly. what I mean? Like, and, um, you know, a book called The Millionaire Next Door talks about how, you know, millionaires, like I said, are just normal people that walk down the street. You're probably walking past a few millionaires and you never know. Just because, you know, they're chill, they're chill with how they do it. They're not, you know, frivolous of how they spend. You know, they're not fake rich. I personally believe that before, you know, getting into any, you know, crazy lifestyle change, so this could, you know, relate to, you know, getting in a relationship, marriage, having a baby, moving, you know, moving house, make sure your finances are in check. You need to make sure your finances are in check before you do anything because if you do get into this, you know, relationship or you know, you do have this baby event, it's going to be a lot harder to like carry on and live life normally when, you know, you're scrabbling for the next bill, bill to pay or you're scrabbling just to make sure you need to make ends meet. Make sure your money's in check so that means, that means things will be sorted out smoothly. In the UK, I found this out not too long ago that the average person in the UK has less than £100 in their bank account. Like, that is actually crazy. That's scary to me. Like, mm. if I only had £100 in my bank account, bruv, I'd be scared, bruv, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? I'd be hustling, bruv, like, do you know what I mean? Is there any last message you want to give to the peoples? Make, just make sure you have another source of income, just supplementing your normal income. We're not saying that having a nine to five is bad, but we're saying that if you just rely on that solely, you're putting yourself in a kind of dangerous situation, you know? And obviously people will respect you more, you know, your peers will tend to want to listen to what you say and they're not going to joke on you or look down on you. And if you're a guy, girls are going to start liking you more. It's as simple as that, bro. Literally. It's as simple as that. And then you can take people to Dubai like this guy does. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll check out the gram. It's linked. But anyway, boom. That's all I'm saying. This is King Riches. And what, hey, what's your, what's your catchphrase? You already know, man. man. It's Pokebanks, baby.